for the Eagles, number five, Michael Bush. Cameron Spencer returns to kick off. Ethan Jeffrey and Austin Elflin on the stop for Linden. It'll be first and ten Dragons at their ten yard line. Tristan Hinckley on the carry. Wyatt Gaucher on the stop for Linden. Gain of one on the play. Second and nine, Dragon. That ball indication is encroachment on the defense. Well, they said that they were going to put Brandon Cunningham in, and then Kyle got out pushed because he sucked, and it's the homecoming game. Right. Five yard mark off, it'll be second and four at the 16 yard line for Schwartz Creek. Michaela, you gotta be with me. I got you. Carry on the play by Dawson Stebbins. Ethan Gomez and Colin Weiss on the stop. First down, Swartz Creek. At the 27 yard line, first and 10. by Tristan Hinckley. Bryce Eluk with a tackle for loss. It'll be second down and 13 at the 24 yard line. Carried by Dawson Stebbins. Bryce Elick with the tackle. It'll be third and four for Swartz Creek at the 33 yard line. Whistle before the snap, dead ball, a false start on the Dragons. Five yards will bring up a third and nine from the 28 yard line.
pass is incomplete from Caleb Hall. It was intended for Jacob Booth. That brings up fourth and nine at the 28 yard line for Schwartz Creek. Ethan Gomez drops back deep for Linda to receive the punt. Gomez takes the punt and is tackled at the 37 yard line. Keegan Larian, Darius Blackmore on the cover. It's first to 10 Linden Eagles at the 38 yard line. Bryce Eluk on the carry. Tackle by Sean Shannick and Josiah Buford. It'll be second and four for Linden at the 44 yard line. Brandon Green on the carry. Sean Shannick and Josiah Buford with the tackle. It's first down at the 42 yard line for the Eagles. I see Luke on the carry. Grayson Middleton and Cameron Spencer on the stop. Ashton, Ashton Kepke also in on the play. At the 36 yard line, second and four. Kara Wagner with the carry. Cameron Spencer on the tackle. Flag on the play in the backfield. Indications holding against the Eagles. Ball right spotted at the 47 yard line where it'll be second down. Flag before the snap. Ball start on the Eagles, moves the ball back another five yards. It'll be second down at the Linden 48 yard line for the Eagles. Pass complete from Green to Monty Keener. Ashton Kepke on the stop. Third and 12 for Linden at the 44 yard line. Oh, 
Green's pass complete to Keener for a first down. Tackle made by Tyler Cole and Josiah Buford. It'll be first and 10 for Linden at the 15 yard line of the Dragons. I see Luke with a carry for four yards. Ashton Kepke on the stop for the Dragons. It'll be second and six from the 11 yard line. I see Luke on the carry. Grayson Middleton and Dawson Stebbins on the stop. That'll bring up third down. Third and four at the nine yard line. Green's pass incomplete, intended for Keener. Cameron Spencer on coverage for the Dragons, brings up fourth down. Timeout call by the Eagles. The first timeout for Linden in the first half. Reminder for our Eagles fans, the Linden Athletic Boosters hold monthly meetings the second Tuesday of the month at 7 p.m. in the media center at the high school. Consider becoming a member of the Boosters today. Join other parents, our coaches, and administrators as we work together to build and promote our athletic programs. Membership in the Boosters is free and open to anyone in the community school district here in Linden with an interest in supporting our student athletes. Returning for the timeout, it's fourth down and four for Linden at the nine yard line. Go to where the sign on the Pass complete from Green to Garrett Wagner. It's first down yardage, it'll be first and goal just inside the five yard line for Linden. That's just what Baron and Brendan did when they reported power puffs, so I just did that. Probably see Luke on the carry. Sean Shanick on the stop for Swartz Creek. Ball's at the four yard line where it's second and goal. The second battery is in there. I didn't change the battery because I didn't know how to take it off. I didn't like that. We got like almost two hours left. We can do on and off. Brandon Green tackled for a loss. 
in on the stop for Schwartz Creek, Dawson Stebbins and Sean Shannon. At the eight yard line, they'll be third and goal for Linden. Green pass incomplete, intended for Garrett Wagner. It'll be fourth and goal from the eight yard line. Michael Bush in to attempt the field goal for Linden. Field goal by Michael Bush is good. On the long snap by Bryce Eluk and the hold by Monty Keener. 2.53 in the first quarter. Swartz Creek zero, Linden three. Tyler Cole and Cameron Spencer back deep for the Dragons, awaiting the kick by Michael Bush. Sam Spencer on the return, he's tackled by Colin Weiss and Kyle Galbraith. First and ten at the 27 yard line for the Dragons. Carry by Keegan Larian. Tackle on the play by Jace Grundy. Second and seven from the 30 yard line. Carry on the play.
play by Dawson Stebbins. Ethan Gomez and Garrett Wagner on the stop. First down yardage for the Dragons. From the 38 yard line, first and 10, Sports Creek. for Keegan Larian. He's forced out of bounds by Brandon Pennington. First down for the Dragons at the Eagles 39 yard line. Keegan Larian with the carry. Ryan McNeil with a stop for Linden. Gain of one on the play will be second and nine at the 38. Dawson Stebbins on the carry. Ethan Gomez on the tackle for Linden. First down, Dragons at the 27 yard line. Okay, my dear. How are you doing? How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Doing good. Hopefully, out of all these tickets. I need to say, are you, you doing? That way? Oh, yeah. Are you doing? Yes, I'm doing. <laughs> Don't Keegan Larian with the carry. Austin Alflin and Bryce Eluk on the stop for Linden. Ball is at the 22 yard line. Second and five. That's the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Our score is Swartz Creek zero, Linden three. We remind our fans that we do have 50-50 raffle going tonight for project graduation for our graduating class this coming year for 2022. We also have project graduation selling spirit wear and doing face painting down near the entrance to Cranston Field. So make sure you check out what they have to offer and make sure you're buying those tickets. Our winning pots for the last two weeks have been pretty good. So get your tickets early and buy off. Tristan Hinckley on the carry. First down for the Dragons. Tackle is made by Austin Alflin for Linden. It'll be first and ten Dragons at the 12 yard line. Touchdown, Swartz Creek Dragons. Tristan Hinckley on the carry for the Dragons. 12 yard run, Swartz Creek.
extra point by Evan Lloyd is blocked. 11.28 left in the second quarter. Our score, Swartz Creek 6, Linden 3. I want to thank the coaches, players, parents, and board of directors from Linden Youth Football for their continued support of Linden Eagles football. We wish all the teams continued success this season with home games here at Cranston Field, and we encourage any Linden fans to come out and support the future of Linden football here on the gridiron at Cranston Field. Back deep for Linda and Garrett Wagner and Ethan Gomez. Teeing it up for Swartz Creek, Caden Updike. <laughs> the kick carries out of bounds. about how her dad's like, you know, and all this other stuff. Um, the other day, you weren't there, but... Procedure penalty on the ball going out of bounds. It'll be first and ten for Linden at the 40-yard line. Dude, she sent me that picture. I was like, oh, oh <laughs> Bryce Eluk with the carry. Kayla Parker and Sean Shannick on the stop. Flag on the play. That ball personal foul against the Eagles. That negates the carry and moves the ball back to the 30 yard line where it'll be first and 20. So they were, I think they were in Kirby's house, Blake overheard it, that's how I know. But she was just talking about how Kobe... Green's pass incomplete, intended for Keener. Coverage on the play by Ashton Kepke and Sean Shannon. Third down for Linda. Green's pass. Complete to Gomez. Loss of one on the play. Brings up fourth and 21. Zach Carpenter was on coverage for the Dragons. Tyler Cole and Cameron Spencer back deep for the Dragons. What is was touched by the Dragons, recovered by the Eagles. And you know, like, everything we've been through, 
Colin Weiss recovered the touch ball for Linden. Linda will retain possession at midfield, first and ten. Dude, I saw Caroline at the last, at Powder Puff, and me and Haley, I was like, oh my god, you look so old. Yeah, I think I told you earlier, Max turns five, oh my gosh, it's so weird. Are you guys all going to break I think just like me, Haley, and my boyfriend are. That's about it. Brandon Green on the carry. Tyler Cole and Cam Spencer on the stop. It'll be just short of the 40 yard line where it'll be second and short for Linda. Bryce E. Luke with a first down carry. Moves the chains for Linda to the 34 yard line. Josiah Buford on the stop for Swartz Creek. Ball is spotted at the 35 yard line, first and 10 Eagles. Brandon Green on the carry, he's tackled by Levi Lloyd. Second and eight from the 33 yard line for Linden. Bucks on Monsters a week. <laughs> Wagner with a carry flag at the end of the play. Tackle was made by Josiah Buford from Schwartz Creek. Personal foul against the Eagles after the play. I forgot. I feel like it's been Brandon. Brandon, I think it's Brandon. It'll be third down for Linden at the 43 yard line. Hi, my lovelies. Okay. He's just like, who are you? Hi, baby. I was going to come for more for after this game. I'll make Kyle to ask him something. Green's passing complete intended for Gomez. Coverage by Tyler Cole. Brings up fourth down for Linden at the 43 yard line. Spencer drop back to return to the Dragons. Michael Bush to punt for Linden.
push punt by Bush. Goes out of bounds on the 14 yard line where it'll be first and 10 for the Dragons. Keegan Larian on the carry. Put her in her place and that's it. Yeah. Tackle by Ethan Gomez. I told her, I said, you do really need to understand though that you did it's a call for Injury timeout. It was gone. It was just getting a little. Like, it was just at that point when she, like, came up to me and was like, I heard you talk to me. And then that's when I just, like, lost it because I was so... I don't think I'm going to Can you just go in and do that? No, they up to an antidepressant oh. But my anger is going to be bad. <laughs> Let's hear it for Ethan Gomez. Just that time of day. Hey, this is my dad and tell him I didn't want to spend it. Didn't want to spend it? Who are you? Hey, buddy, come here. Put it in your piggy bank. Second and one for Swartz Creek. Returning to action. Follows at the 23 yard line. I don't know if just, wait, does this mean I shouldn't give it to your mom and tell her he didn't want to spend it? It's got to go back to the ash. <laughs> Keegan Larian on it. Perry. Austin Elflin and Bryson Phillips on the stop. It's a first down for Swartz Creek at the 33 yard line. <laughs> I told I told Kyle about that. He's in my own fifth hour. He's still so he's so weird. No, he said something the other day making a joke about taking it home and Tristan Hinkley on the carry. That's what all the football players do. They just make jokes about me having fun. Colin Weiss and Bryson Phillips with the tackle. Second and four at the 39 yard line. You probably missed the ball group chat at least twice a day. I don't even want to know what's been sent to that group chat. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The greatest football group chat was horrible. Keegan Larian with Perry. Austin Elflin on the tackle. Gain of one at the 40 yard line, it'll be third and three. Dawson Stebbins on the carry. It's forced out of bounds. Play made by Bryson Phillips for Linden at midfield. First and ten for the Dragons. Stubbins on the carry for Swartz Creek, flag on the play. Bryce E. Luke and Bryce and Phillips on the tackle. It's holding on the Dragons. Moves the ball back to the 40 yard line where it'll be first and 20. 
Caleb Hall on the carry on the tackle for Lyndon Carson Kahn. It'll be second and 18 at the 42 yard line. Tristan Hinkley on the carry. You're okay. <laughs> we don't need to Colin Weiss and James Berry with the tackle for Linden. It'll be third and 15 at the 45 yard line. Pass from Caleb Hall complete to Dawson Stebbins. He's forced out of bounds. Flag on the play. Picking up the flag. It'll be fourth and two at the 42 yard line for the Dragons. Tackled in the backfield on the carry, Dawson Stebbins. Carson Connor, Ryan McNeilan on the stop. It'll be first and 10 Eagles at the 45 yard line on the turnover on down. was intended from Brandon Green to Monty Keener. Flag on the play. <laughs> Defensive holding against the Dragons. It'll be first and ten for Linden. It'll be first and 10 for Linden at the Swartz Creek 45 yard line after the penalty. Brandon Green on the carry. Gain of four on the play.
tackle by Grayson Middleton. Cameron Spencer also on the stop. It'll be second and six at the 41 yard line. Green's pass complete to Ethan, er, Ethan Gomez. Tackle was made by Tyler Cole for Swartz Creek. It's first down yardage for Linden. First and 10 at the 26 yard line. Bryce E. look on the carry. Connor McMichael on the stop. Sean Shanahan also in on the play. No gain, it'll be second and ten. Brandon Green on the carry, flag on the play. Holding against the Eagles will bring the last play back. It'll be second and 15 from the 31 yard line. Gary Wagner on the carry, tackled by Tyler Cole. At the 20 yard line, it'll be third and four. Brandon Green is tackled. Josiah Buford on the stop after a short gain. It'll be fourth and three for Linden at the 19 yard line. Timeout's been called by Linden, their second timeout. They have one timeout remaining in the first half. Do you know what's going on in our district? In addition to our great new district webpage, we've implemented a new app for your mobile device. Go to the App Store or the Google Store and type in Linden Community Schools to find and install the app to get immediate notifications and the latest news on district happenings. Remember to save our website link, lindenschools.org, and we're also found on Facebook and Twitter, at Linden Schools. 
for it. No, they decided to stay home because that uh, Logan got pushed at school, so it's me. He, she's probably up over there doing the raffle to get things. It's terrifying. Just go check over there. Returning to the timeout, it's fourth and three for Linden at the 19 yard line. Was it good? I did. Here, I'll show you. Because they were literally like doing it as I just started recording. Yeah, you me some down. On the carry by Garrett Wagner. Tackle by Dawson Stebbins. We're gonna have to like make she said we're gonna have to like do the camera and go back and maybe somebody. It's a turnover on downs. Giving the dragons the ball, first and ten. If I'm not going to at the 30 yard line. I'm off all weekend for the work, so whatever works for me. It's not a hundred percent thing. I told him I wanted to go to the zoo. He so said maybe Sunday. If you want to go to the zoo? I'm very good all the time. I haven't either. That's why I want to go. That's Keegan Larian on the carry. Tackle by Bryce Eloop. No gain. It's second and ten at the 30. Dawson Stebbins on the carry. It's forced out of bounds by James Berry. Liam Saad and Colin Weiss also in on the stop. At the 36 yard line, it'll be third and four. Loose ball. Ball recovered by Lyndon Wyatt Gaucher. Turnover for Lyndon's possession at the 33 yard line, first and 10 Eagles. Pass from Green intended for Gomez incomplete. What? Uh, like the middle. Top Zach here. Carpenter on coverage. Will be second and ten. Yeah, I will. Because I'm going to be here until the game completely ends anyway. So. Timeout called by the Dragons. First out, timeout taken by Swartz Creek. They have two remaining. I'll text you. I'll text you when to um, meet me. Okay. Hey, Kara! <laughs> there is the fishing. This is what we do. Returning for the timeout. I tried to get a good one. Linden's ball, second and ten at the 33. Pass incomplete intended for Daryl Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> Covered by Dawson Stebbins. Oh, 
coverage on the play by Tyler Cole brings up third down with eight seconds left in the half. Third and ten for Linden at the 33. Brandon Green on the carry, forced out of bounds. On the play, Andrew Booth. And Dawson Stebbins for the Dragons brings a fourth down at the 29-yard line. Final timeout taken by the Eagles. Field goal attempt by Michael Bush from 46 yards, just short. That ends our first half with a score. The Dragons six, the Eagles three. This is homecoming, so we invite you to sit back and enjoy the presentation of the Linden High School 2021 homecoming court and the crowning of this year's queen as I turn over halftime activities to Brian Vandeventer. Nice job, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the presentation of the 2021 Homecoming Queen's Court. We would like to thank all the volunteers and class advisors who make homecoming successful. First, the winners of float building. In fourth place, the juniors. In third place, the freshmen. In second place, the seniors. And in first place, the sophomore class. Next, the class with the most spirit and the winner of the Spirit Points Award is the sophomore class. Now, let's welcome the 2021 Homecoming Queens Court and their escorts. 
the freshman representatives. Sarah Green, escorted by her parents, Heather and Keith Green. Widener, escorted by her parents, Alyssa and Jamie Widener. The sophomore representatives, Charlie Keener, escorted by her parents, Janine and Bob Keener. Ava Sigwald, escorted by her parents, Melissa and Lance Sigwald. Representing the junior class, Annabelle Sharkey, escorted by her parents, Chrissy and James Sharkey. Hey, Nell, where are you? Oh, it's playing with my friends. Ow! Come on. Our foreign exchange representative, Berta Villamas, escorted by her host parent, Melanie Hine. And now let's welcome our senior representatives to the 2021 homecoming court. Chloe Dragon, escorted by her parents, Deanna and Mark Dragon. <laughs> Emma Lurvey, escorted by her parents, Heather and David Lurvey. Jaden Moxlow, escorted by her mother, Lisa Moxlow.
and Casey Vedez, escorted by her parents, Cheryl Pinontek and Jeffrey Vedez. And now, this year's 2021 Homecoming Queen is Emma Lurvey. Congratulations to all members of the 2021 Homecoming Queens Court. On behalf of Linden High School, please enjoy the rest of tonight's football game. And as always, go Eagles!
Reminding our fans, there's still 50-50 raffle tickets out there. And the spirit wear being sold by our project graduation will be closing down after halftime. So if you're interested still in any spirit wear at the table up near the concession stand, please check out what project graduation has to sell. We'd like to congratulate the Linden Varsity Girls Golf Team, who are this year's Flint Metro League champions with a 10-1 record. Additionally, they topped off with a convincing Metro League tournament victory, defeating perennial powerhouses Fenton Goodrich, shooting a school record low in the tournament of 348. Additionally, Catherine Straub, Kate Draper, Emma Lurvey, and Ella Lamoff have been named first team Flint Metro League and Brooke Gall was rated an honorable mention in postseason honors. Congratulations, ladies. Also, State Bank athlete was River Bexroth for Boys Cross Country for his great showings in the last week.
Top, middle, bleachers at the very top. I'm recording with the camera. I don't know because after the game I'm going to Kyle. No, I'm up in the bleachers right now. I have to record. I can't leave Julie up here alone. Okay, I'm seeing you guys later tonight anyway, so. As we tee it up to start the second half, back deep for Linden. Grayson just left. Garrett Wagner. And Ethan Gomez to receive. With Tyler Moore. Caden Updike, number 18, will I'm tee sure it up I'm for Swartz sure Creek. Mal's going with her. Yeah, did you see him at her? Mal just got home from Texas. They, they went to Texas and stayed with guys. Grayson got her second body. She got, literally, they were in Dallas. So she came home. She was like, it was 1 o'clock in the morning. I was trying to get bed from school. She came in and she's like, I got dicked down in Dallas. Now she just plays that song all the time. The one. Oh. Come on. The one's a very extremely long. Up like kick win. return that by is. number 12, I Colin White. It'll be first and 10 for Linden at the 35 yard line. See Luke on the carry for Linden. Tackle was made by 34, Dawson Stebbins and Caden Updike. Okay, so Sunday? At the 42 yard line, it'll be second and three. I'll text you if we actually end up doing the other thing. Okay, because Sydney's going to be with me probably Sunday too. I don't know what class I'm going to Bryce E. Luke into Dragon's territory at the 41 yard line. First and 10. I don't know if you'll put that like Kyle either, so. On the tackle, Cam Spencer for Schwartz Creek. I know, so I'm just worried about him and his girl. Maybe we should run Pass by Green is complete. You never told me about any of this. When I walked into Grace's house and there's like two black guys on the couch, I'm like, what the fuck? Reception by Brady James like, for Linden. Second and six. Haley's the one that told me. No, about you having a voice. I didn't know you were there. Bryce E. Luke on the carry for a limited first down. Tackled at the 16 yard line. On the play, Josiah Buford for the Dragons. Eagles, first and 10 at the 16. We'll spill tea on Sunday. Green's pass complete to Monty Keener. Cam Spencer on the tackle. It'll go to us. She won't watch this all that we might. It'll be second and short. Just inside the seven yard line. Correction, they're going to make it a first down for Linden at the six yard line. First and goal, Eagles. Dude, I 
I swear to God, this is my child's not at home tonight. My child's not at home. Bryce E. Luke on the carry. I'm literally a mom. Oh, Dawson Stubbins with a stop for the Dragons. He doesn't stay every, when he goes to my grandparents and my aunts. He doesn't stay one night. He goes to stay three. You should have heard him yesterday from Calvin. He got mad about one thing. Bryce Aylou, touchdown run, Linden. Four yard run for Bryce Aylou, Eagles touchdown. Extra point by Mike Bush is good. 9-24 in the third quarter. The Dragon 6, the Eagles 10. Austin Elflin with the tackle for Linden. At the 39 yard line, first and 10 Swartz Creek. I wanted to call me a Kenzie, you guys there for the whole thing. I woke up and I'm like, dude, she's After her and freaking Grace, Diablo's girlfriend. She would kill me. She's fucking insane. Bailey, she couldn't do shit to me. Right? She, she could probably kill her. Tristan Hinkley with a carry. <laughs> Austin Elflin and Bright Sea look on the stop. It'll be second and a long five for the Dragons at the 44 yard line. Keegan Larian on the carry. Jace Grundy, Bryce Eluk on the stop. Third and two for the Dragons. I felt so bad. She couldn't do school. Follows at the 47 yard line. Tristan Hinkley with the carry. Michael Bush and Bryce E. Luke on the tackle. Will be first and ten Swartz Creek at the Eagles 49 yard line. I love it, but like, yes, in the 
Tackle for a loss on the carry, Tristan Hinckley. Making the stop for Lyndon and James Berry. It'll be second and a long time at midfield. On a carry for Swartz Creek, Keegan Valerian. Austin Alflin with the tackle. Third and five at the 45 yard line. Tristan Hinckley with a carry. On the stop for Lyndon, Austin Elflin, and Brandon Pennington. Fourth and two, Dragons. That ball foul against the Eagles. Encroachment on Linden. Moves ball five yards, but it'll be first down for Swartz Creek at the 37-yard line. On the carry for Swartz Creek, Keegan Larian. Kyle Galbraith on the stop. No gain on the play, it'll be second and ten. Keegan Larry and on the carry. Austin Elflin on the stop. Injury timeout. Officials timeout for injury. Let's hear it for Keith. For Peyton uh, Updike. Up. 
Returning from the official's timeout will be third and seven for Swartz Creek at the Eagles' 34-yard line. Like been in trouble. Is she on probation? Is that a real thing? You know where Emily is? No. I tagged her. And then she talked to her. Dossie Stebbins on the carry for Swartz Creek first down on the stop for Lyndon J. Sprundy. Officials time out for injury. Caleb Cramble for the Dragons. Oh yeah, I was walking back to come back up here and this little girl fell on the rocks. First and ten at the 25-yard line. And then I took over to her sister. That's so sweet. Keegan Larian on a carry. Okay, good. If you want to leave after when I come back, you can because I have to stay here anyway because I have Kyle's car keys. So it might be a little bit. Bryce E. Lucan on the stop for Lyndon. If you want to leave, you can. Gain of two, it'll be second and eight at the 23. Just don't tell her you left early, so you'll still get a grade for it. On the carry for Swartz Creek, Evan Lloyd. Tackle made by Ethan Gomez. It'll be third and four at the 19 yard line. Tristan Hinkley on the carry. Monty Keener with a tackle for Linden brings up fourth that fourth and short. We remind our fans we'll be making a drawing for the 50-50 raffle during the break between the third and fourth quarters, so get your tickets ready. It'll be a first down run for the Dragons. Still 
Caleb Hall on the carry for a first down tackle by Michael Bush. Also went on to stop Kyle Galbraith. First and first down, Dragon. Kevin Lloyd on the carry, tackled by Bryce Elu. Second and nine. Follows at the 12-yard line for the Dragons. Dawson Stebbins on the carry for Sports Creek. It'll be third and one for the Dragons. Follows at the four yard line. Tinkley on the carry for Swartz Creek. Michael Bush on the stop. He'll be first and goal from the two yard line for Swartz Creek. Caleb Hall with the carry. That winds the clock on the third quarter. Our score is Swartz Creek 6, Linden 10. Okay, folks, get your tickets out. The winning ticket tonight is a red ticket for $495. The winning ticket is 3 one three five eight two. 313582. If you're holding that ticket, please report to the concession stand and meet the representative from Project Graduation for your winnings. We'd like to thank our Linden Varsity cheerleaders this evening. Mackenzie Anderson, Amy Arceo, Caitlin Rose Birchmeyer, Isabella Chang, Alyssa Crane, Grace Cross, Kaylee Cross, Autumn Greco, Trinity Harrison, Paige Jones, Ava Langell, Emily March, Scarlett Massaria, Isabella Mendenhall, Isabella Morton, Addison Newport, Abby Smith. Touchdown run by Grayson Middleton for Swartz Creek. Two yard touchdown run by Middleton. The rest of our Linden Eagle cheerleaders, Caden Snavely, Emma Spurrier, Lorena Thompson, Kendall Titus, Carly Weiss and Rachel Yu. They're coached by Rosa Spanigal, assisted by Tammy Carr. Great spirit tonight, ladies. Thank you very much. <laughs> Extra point by Evan Lloyd is good. Our score with 11.58 left in the fourth. Swartz Creek 13, Linden 10. We'd like to acknowledge our visiting cheerleaders from Swartz Creek. 
On the far side, cheering their team on is Mandy Combs, Gabriella Brandt, Lily Thompson, Riley Blue, Julia Hornack, Jalen Deal, McKenna Hyde, Kendall Gilbert, Erica Gilbert, Gracelyn Walton, Aubrey Sandlin, Abigail Frost, Savannah Erler, McKenna Knight, Alyssa Vandendreis, Devin Warfield, Peyton Clifford, Charlotte Perky, Lily Honekin, Aliyah Rania, Addison Anslow, Brooklyn Muma, Clarissa Rushton, Marina Wiegand, Gabrielle Miller, and Madison Danks. Their head coach is Tori Thurston. Back deep for Linden, Wagner and Gomez. Caden Updike tees it up for the Dragons. Number six for Linden takes it as the up man returns it inside Dragon territory. First and ten at the 36 yard line of the Dragons for Linden. See you look on the carry. Andrew Booth on tackle for the Dragons. Second down at the 33 yard line. Pricey Luke with another carry for Linden. Jacob Booth on the tackle for Swartz Creek. It'll be third and four at the 30 yard line. Brandon Green on the carry. On the stop, Sean Shannick for the Dragons. They'll bring up fourth and two. Fourth and two at the 28 yard line. So before the snap, indication is a foul on the Dragons for encroachment. It'll be first and ten for Linden at the 23-yard line. See Luke on the carry. Tackle made by Caleb Parker. Josiah Buford also went on the play. No gain on the play, it'll be second and ten. I 
Key Luke on the carry for Linden. Boy, my dad. You know my dad. No, on the stop, Sh Sean Shannick and Andrew Booth for the Dragons. Third and ten, Linden. Is he like that? He's pretty young. Oh, okay. He went to Durant. Pass is incomplete, intended for Keener. Cameron Spencer on coverage for the Dragons. It'll bring up fourth and ten. Fourth and ten, Linden. And he's so happy, it's so good. Pass by Green is incomplete, intended for Ethan Gomez. Pass was broken up by Tyler Cole for the Dragons. Turnover on downs. It's first and ten, Swartz Creek at the Linden 23-yard line. Timeout call by the Eagles. First timeout of the second half for no Linden. They have two remaining. I don't know where I got that from. Athletic Department and the Boosters would like to recognize our business sponsors providing support to all Linden teams. This year we have a growing number of sponsors. Banners are displayed along our home stands fence line. We'd like to recognize Vic Canaver Chevrolet, Linden Landscape Company, Hungry Howies, Randy Wise, Buick GMC, Andy Elger, Keller Williams, First Realty, The Stain Shop, Linden Athletic Boosters, Jeff Bloom State Farm, Linden Little League, Cross the Break Baking Company, and Action Water Sports. Keegan Larry and Anna Carey. Gain of three, it'll be second and seven at the 26 yard line. Tackle was made by Jace Grundy for Linden. Keegan Larry and on a carry for a Dragon first down. He stopped by Garrett Wagner for Linden. At the 36 yard line, first to 10 Swartz Creek. Evan Lloyd on the carry. I can't believe it. Bryce E. Luke with a tackle for Linden. At the 39 yard line, it'll be second down for the Dragons. Second and six, Swartz Creek. I don't know you guys 
Yeah. Oh, is that the one she took to homecoming? Yeah, yeah, okay. They're going to Grand Valley tomorrow to get Evan Lloyd with another carry for Swords Creek. Injury timeout caught by the official. Then on a stop for Linden on the last play was Jace Grundy. It'll be third and one, Swartz Creek. Caleb Hall on the carry. He's, he's top of my list of the worst. He is. Then Mike was the second. Bryce E. Luke in on the stop for Linden. That'll be a first down for Swartz Creek at the 46 yard line. So, I feel your pain. I just had a over and I'm like, I'm desperate. I was, I was obsessed with him for a long time. I don't know why. Thought he was like hot shit when he came to seventh grade. Yeah. You got her in the same time. You and her got him in like his prime time. Yeah. Yeah. Keegan Larian on the carry. Yeah. Look at the shot Tackle on the play. Colin Weiss for Linden. It'll be second and two at the 46 yard line. Inside Eagle territory for the Dragons. I did the Jackson Pistons turn. That is, when you're trying to tell him something about other ones. Don't stop your voice, Harry! Where's my boyfriend's cartoon? Oh, fine. That would have been bad. Tristan Hinkley on the carry for the Dragons. On the stop for Linden, Kyle Galbraith, Bryce Elu. First down for Swartz Creek at the 43 yard line. by Keegan Larian. Monty Keener on the stop for Linden. More of our sponsors this year, Companion Animal Hospital, Ascension Genesis Health Club, the State Bank, Wicked Welding, Ivy Rehab, Calabria Village, Bridge Street Exchange. Carry by Dawson Steppen, Dawson Stebbins, tackled by Bryce Elu. Loss on the play, it'll be third and 11. Play by Evan Lloyd. Wyatt Gaucher and Colin Weiss on the stop. Brings up fourth down. At the 37 yard line, fourth and four. Timeout called 
Swartz Creek's first timeout taken of the second half. They have two remaining. for Swartz Creek returning the timeout. Carry by Tristan Hinckley. First down for Swartz Creek. London fans, we invite you to remain in the stands after the conclusion of the game for a performance by the Linden High School Marching Band. Our band has worked really hard and they've got a great program this year that's worth the time. So please support our band after the game concludes. Keegan Larian on the carry. Timeout called by the Eagles. Second timeout taken by Linden. They have one left in the second half. Pinkley on the carry. Timeout. Eagles take their final timeout. Ball spotted at the 27 yard line where it'll be third down for, for the Dragons. Third and four when we'll return to the timeout. Return to the timeout, it's third and four for the Dragons. Before the snap, ball start on the Dragons. Move it back five yards, it'll be third and nine. 
with ball at the 32 yard line, third and nine. after the play. Personal foul after the play on the Dragons. That'll bring up fourth down at the 42 yard line. Fourth and 19 for Swartz Creek at the Linden 42 yard line. complete flag after the play class was complete from Caleb Hall to Tyler Cole the first and goals for Swartz Creek. Good ball personal foul against the Eagles. Caleb Hall takes a knee. That'll wind the clock on the game this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our final score for tonight's game, homecoming 2021. Swartz Creek Dragons 13, the Linden Eagles 10. Again, as you depart the stands, we ask you to watch your stop. Again, the Linden High School Marching Band will be playing, so we invite you to stay and watch tonight's performance. We congratulate.